Today's day three of our chicken garden build. Are we calling it earth bag chicken garden, earth bag chicken coop garden, chicken coop garden, hyper adobe earth bag chicken coop garden? All of the above. Okay. We'll call it whatever we want. Gotta get those keywords in there. I'm the boss. Wait. What? Today, day three, chicken coop garden. We're trenching. More trenching. Uh, we're continuing to focus on the outside wall because the inside wall is going to require some more measuring and sort of setting up. For now, we're just trying to get a quick win and finishing that outside circle. <laughs> now, are we going to be concentrating on getting it to the right level? Well, we will, but I think first we just need to get it all dug out a certain amount, and then we'll get the laser level out, and, and maybe even some gravel. Ready to go. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, do you want to fill it back in with dirt? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna need to like fix it in different places, obviously. Yeah. But um, we just need to get like down a decent amount all the way around. Why it's are you a, looking at me? It's a great like explanation, that? babe. You ready to get started? I guess. My heart's been ripped wide open So many mixed emotions It's like I finally noticed I've been set free I've been set free I spent a lifetime running Fearing what I'd become if I This is Mac. She's a white rock chicken, and she also is one of our most friendly chickens that we have. Mac also loves to climb on our heads a lot. <laughs> Thank you. So here on the homestead, one of the things that's super important to us is keeping as many of the trees as we can throughout all of our builds. And we picked this entrance for the chicken coop because it already has two mesquite trees. One is pretty good size, one is just really tiny, but eventually with water and care, they will grow up and provide some shade. So right now I'm just gonna trim them up, make them look nice, get rid of the understory around it and create like a little bit of a fire break. I've been told out here, it's a good idea to keep um, like clear the grass under all of our trees. We can't possibly do all of them here on the homestead, but we can do some important ones just to add a little bit of a fire break. So that's what I'm working on right now. Today is Where's It At Wednesday. If you know what it is, you know. Leave a comment when you see it. So you may notice that we've got all these wheelbarrows and stuff going, where all the dirt that we pull up, we're putting in, in wheelbarrows and taking it over to this pit over here. And so this pit is actually what we dug out to build the solar shed. And we realized that when we did the solar shed, we, we dug out the trenches and just threw the dirt to the side and then ended up having to move those piles of dirt at least two or three times while we continue to work. So we're trying to be a little smarter this time 
So we're automatically taking all that dirt and putting it right over here. And then that's actually where we're going to mix up the material for our earth bags is in that pit. So the dirt is already there. We don't have to move any dirt because this pit was already getting too steep for tractors to come in and dig out anymore. So we didn't want this to get any deeper. So I think it'll save us some time and energy, even though there's a little more energy on the front end, we shouldn't have to move it multiple times. We're on a mission. It seems like every time we use a tool, we lose it. We lose a tool. And there's six acres with lots of tall grass, and we can't find our loppers. I've already looked at all the trees that we pruned while your mom and dad were here. Uh -huh. Looked in the garage. Uh -huh. Looked by soil shed. Uh -huh. Still haven't found them. So we're uh -huh. going to split up and see who finds them first. <gasps> what is the last? Whoever finds it gets the last popsicle in the freezer. Well, you didn't tell them that, so we could just go get the last popsicle and it wouldn't really matter. Okay, don't tell them. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is my fault, because I'm pretty sure I'm the last one that used them. Which, don't tell John. I guess we'll start with the garage. <laughs> I have? Yeah. We can look again. Night night, lead the way. <laughs> there. Sorry, I should have been checking the circle. So, first. I'm going to check in the garage because <clears throat> I there's a good chance that they got put in the garage but not in the right place. So that's where I'm going to check first. Oh no, Ally and Jed are already checking in there. Dang it! And look at that. On the ground, right outside the garage, I win. Victory! The loppers have been attained! He found them. He gets the last popsicle. Dang it. There's a wind and it's blowing. There's a current that's running deep. I can't see, but I know it This something's not what it's meant to be Hearing brother against brother now Anger grows on divided ground Sometimes I think that I lost the sound Of the calm inside of me I wanna see love make a comeback I wanna feel hope when it runs out I wanna see everybody joining in And 
Well, we made it to the end of day three. Yes, and it's actually starting to look like a trench. Yes, there's always this weird, like, when you get started, when it just looks like... Where it's just like a barely... It's like, and it's very sad, and you're like, this is just never going to go. And then all of a sudden, you get the sides chipped away and get it cleaned out, and you're like, oh, there it is. Oh, there you are. I see your trench. But the outside is getting pretty close, and so then we get to start on the inside, and then we can start on the well, we also had to figure out where the poop is. Yeah, we it, it's not moving in our plans per se, but we're thinking about taking the whole thing and just like turning it. Yeah? Yeah, we were just talking about it for drip irrigation. No, we said we weren't going to do that because you said you were going to put a pump on it. Oh, but then we said we might put it on the back and let gravity run the water. No. <laughs> so we're considering possibly moving the chicken coop. We're taking the whole, like, the entrance and the coop, and just imagine we're just rotating the whole thing to where the door would be kind of down towards the east instead of towards the south. But we're, it's just not like a, a for sure turn. thing. Just a quarter turn. It's not a for sure thing. No, it's not. The only reason that we would do that is because on the west side is the highest point, and that would work better for gravity feeding. Yeah. With our drip irrigation. Yeah, and really, technically, it's sort of the southwest side, so yeah. it kind of goes at an angle. Yeah. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah. We may switch it. We may not. I don't know. Thank I don't really want to just because I've already made that entrance there with the nice trees. It does look good, yeah. And it would be weird because the house is going to be on the south side of this coop. Hmm. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's all for today. We will see you tomorrow. <laughs> that sounded weird. <laughs> We will will. see you tomorrow. (laughs) It's fine. Okay.